Well, hello everyone. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, I'd like to welcome each of you to another Frantastic Insights video segment. Uh, this is uh, a segment whereby we introduce to you some very prominent personalities, all of whom are having a very positive impact on the ever-growing world of franchising. Uh, my name is David Craighead. I'm the Chief Franchise Expansion Officer for FranServe and also for the Franchise Dictionary Magazine. Uh, and today I'll be your host for this week's Frantastic Insights. Uh, FranSurf, for those of you who are not familiar with our organization, we're recognized as the world's largest franchise consulting and expansion organization. Uh, our mission is simple, and that is we change people's lives in a very positive way through franchise ownership. And we do that through a network of incredible franchise brands uh, in 39 different industry categories. Our growth initiatives are supported by a growing portfolio of licensed franchise consultants all across the country, uh, also in the great country of Canada, and all of whom are dedicated to helping their clients explore franchise opportunities, which are deemed to be a perfect match to their individual search criteria. And today I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Vic uh, Chufatelli. Vic, I sure hope I pronounced your last name correctly. I tried not to mess that up. Uh, Vic is the Global Director of Master Licensees for the today's featured brand, which is Action Coach. Uh, Action Coach is the world's largest business coaching franchise. They specialize in driving business growth and success in the private sector, and they've been doing that uh, since their start in franchising 25 years ago in 1997. And Action Coach Business Coaching has franchise opportunities in 30 plus individual states today with over 1,000 territories available right now for the right candidates. So Vic, thank you for joining us today. As I pass the microphone to you uh, this afternoon, please share with us your business model description and your latest perspective on the Action Coach franchise brand. Yeah, thanks, David. And uh, look, our business has changed uh, a number of times over the last uh, 20 years. We're, we're the, look, we're the leader when it comes to business coaching. Um, you know, Brad was the person that defined business coaching all back when, 25, uh, 25 years ago. We, we are a coaching business, a business coaching business. We predominantly work with the SME market, uh, Businesses, most of our clients uh, are, are under the $15 million a year revenue. Um, and we, we have in the last 12 months added another feature to our business, um, which is very much a membership feature, uh, where we're looking to, to be able to touch a lot more businesses. We're looking to scale our business. We, we have for many years, been a business almost like a, a man in a van, David, a one man business. So we were a great business for, for someone who wanted to build their own coaching business and they were able to make great income in helping local uh, business owners. The one challenge we found with our model is that we weren't touching enough business owners. We weren't contributing really to, to the majority of business owners, just with the, fit, the mere fact that one coach can only look after so many businesses. So we've introduced the membership model, which is now uh, allowing our franchisees to scale their business, which then in turn means that the type of person we're looking for now to be one of our, uh, to be a franchisee, is somebody who doesn't particularly want to be a coach themselves, but wants to build a coaching business, employ people so they can eventually have that business that we teach all business owners to have. And that is a commercial profitable enterprise that works without them. And can you describe for me what your current mission statement is and how has that changed uh, in recent years? Our, our vision is world abundance through business re-education. Fundamentally, we want to make a difference in all communities. And you drive differences mainly through economics. And most of those economics in most uh, uh, areas are driven by the SME market. I mean, the, 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 that's, uh, that, that's a pretty well-known fact. Now, world abundance means that, that we really want to make some significant 
change. And for our franchisees, it'll be local abundance. Uh, you know, that, that would be their focus. And again, we're looking at products and services that are able to do that in a quantity where it will make a difference. Okay. You mentioned the changes you've recently made. Are you forecasting any significant changes in your business model over the next five or 10 years? The short answer, David, is yes. I don't know what those changes are because had you asked me five years ago, <laughs> you know, about membership, it wasn't on our radar. It was on our radar about three, four years ago because it's taken us this long to, to prototype it and everything. But when I look back, and I've been with Action Coach for 20 years, when I look back uh, on that, David, we've morphed ourselves, look, every four or five years. So, yes, there will be a change. I don't know what that is, but there will be a change. Okay. Because the market shifts. Okay, good. So, tell me, now that COVID-19 is slipping into the history books, uh, in your opinion, was Action Coach affected by COVID-19? And if so, how? Yeah, it was affected and it was positively affected. Now, I'm not talking about the first three months. The first three months was a, was a disaster. Uh, yeah, a lot of people were confused, worried, all of that, okay? And uh, a lot of our clients uh, put their coaching on hold, not knowing what was going on and what have you. Now, fast past those first three months, our, our business has steadily grown month on month on month from COVID because what, look, what, what do people look for from a business coach? They're looking for leadership. They're looking for security. They're looking for guidance. And the more turmoil there is in the world, the more our services are being asked for. So that, that you know, it, we've grown. We've always been a remote business, David. In a lot of our coaching had, has been done in the early days but on the phone and then Skype and then Zoom. So our business model really didn't have to change that much to cater for our clients. But there was a definite upswing uh, with uh, uh, signing on new clients. When one of our clients visits your website, they'll see that you're growing significantly and that you have open territories in 30 different states in the United States. Can you describe how your territories and the design metrics of your territories are created? Yeah, so we do have exclusive territories and that's another change in the last 12 months to our business model before they were non-exclusive, but now we have exclusive regions generally made up of between 10 and 12,000 uh, businesses. Uh, and uh, and we're, we're probably forecasting a three to 5% penetration rate for our franchisees in that. So that's a good number of, uh, of clients. Um, and again, with the membership model, I think we will scale even greater greater than, uh, than that. So there's a, there's a look, there's a lot of earning potential uh, for, for each one of the, uh, the, the location. And look, our franchisee is somebody that's going to be a leader in the business community. So it's about going deep into the community rather than just touching the surface. And up to now, we've only just been touching the surface. Okay. We currently have right at 622 licensed brokers in the FranServe community. Do you have any really hot regions of the country that you would like for us to focus on to help you fill? Well, look, let's do some simple maths here, David. You've got 620 odd uh, uh, consultants. We've got about two and a half thousand territories to sell across the, the country. If every one of your consultants brought us four candidates, let's do four sales. Let's get it sold out in the next two or three years. Look, I think we'll scale that 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 quickly. Um, the model, the model now that we've got to present is greater than. And look, it's always been good. We've always been ranked number one. It, we're a good product. It's always been good. It's even better now, and I think it's going to be attractive to a lot more investors. Whereas before it was attractive to the man in the van type uh, mentality. Now, now it's attractive to the business builders. And we're, we're actually seeing multiple sales. So people aren't buying just one region, they're buying three, four, five, six. 
At the same time? At the same time. Okay, good. So that's, that's a great opportunity, again, for your consultants to make some serious yep. money here as well. We need to publish that right away then, don't we? Make sure they're all aware of that. Yes. Um, how would you describe the perfect franchisee for your brand? What would that person look like? Yeah, the perfect person would be definitely a community builder, a networker, uh, somebody with a pretty heavy sales marketing background would be absolutely suitable. Uh, and definitely someone who has a, a passion to create their own wealth. Yeah, you know, we're driving and I mean, this whole business is about, hel about helping others become wealthy. Well, you need to have a passion for your own wealth as well. You know, there needs to be a good driver there. You know, it, it uh, uh, gone are the days where we want to attract people who want to do good in just good in the community. You know, money, you know, Vic's, Vic, the money is not important to me. I just want to help. Well, that mentality may have helped the buying a single coaching practice, but for a firm, it, it's, it's, a, it's a builder, it's a driver. For the individuals that are wa watching this video today, um, take a minute and describe what the Action Coach training program looks like, both classroom as well as in-field training, please. It's intensive, David. It's intensive. There is a three-week post-training. Uh, and when I say post-training, we've got an intensive 10-day training program. That's done uh, in-house in our training center in, in Las Vegas, so 10-day intensive. So three weeks before that, there's a three-week uh, pre-training program where they go through a lot of videos, a lot of learning. The, the 10 days is really about the how-tos, not the what. They'll learn the what on the pre-training. And then there's a, there's a four-week uh, post-training review after that. Uh, they get uh, they get their own coach that works with them uh, every day after training after their ten day training uh, that, that that will spend 15 20 minutes each day helping them arrange what they have to do that day to get them into good disciplines good behaviors uh, then then after that first critical 30 day period uh, they'll always have their own coach um, that will work work with them on a weekly basis. There are literally hundreds of video, how-to videos all on our dashboard, you know, how to market, how to use Facebook, how to sell, how to coach. There's literally hundreds. I mean, this is, you, you can imagine, David, this has been built over 20 years. Um, uh, so extensive. There, there isn't anyone in our network that wouldn't know what they had to do next. All the information is there. Very good. So. Uh, there's no ambiguity about what the process No ambiguity. They're not left to their own devices. When you buy into Action Coach, you're also buying into the Net Action Coach network, which means you're being supported by, by your master licensee. You're being supported by local coaches. You look, and, and you've got your local coaches, but you also got your national coaches. It, it, it is a very giving community. And taking all that in consideration that you just described from the date the new franchisee that we bring to you signs their agreement until the date they have the ribbon cutting ceremony, typically is what period of time? Look, I, I would I would project at three, four months um, for their first event to be held, for them to be signing clients, three to four months. Now, look, you, 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 you've always, in every system, you've got your great, yeah, you're 20% movers and shakers. And we're finding that uh, a number of our uh, franchisees are coming to training already with clients. So, but, but look, let's be conservative. Let's say three, four months. Yeah, anything better than that is fantastic. Uh, yeah, it'd, it'd be a great disappointment if they didn't have a good uh, number of clients within that three or four month period. Very good. Well, Vic, Excellent presentation. Thank you for being patient with all of my pesky questions. I appreciate your time. And I really thank you for the pleasure of you for preparing for this interview. This entire interview will be posted on the FranServe support site. It'll be archived in our FranServe library. And it will also be uploaded to Instagram, to YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And with that, Vic, are there any parting comments that you would like to share with our audience? 
I'm looking forward to doing business with the consultants, uh, David. Uh, we're, we're serious about wanting to be sold out within three to four, you know, three to four years. Um, any advice that any of your consultants can give via yourself and your team, I'm more than happy to take it on board. We want to do business, David. Okay. Well, Vic, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we appreciate you. And with that, uh, we will adjourn today's fantastic insights recording and uh, call this a wrap. So thanks again, Vic. We appreciate you, buddy. Thanks, Take Vic. care now.